Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to all the geeks out there, and all geeks, welcome to another video game. This video game is a bit weirder, this game is actually a bit weirder. I'm going to be doing what I was actually trained to do, so it's something I'm qualified in, funny enough, is building computers and repairing computers and sorting out problems like, hello IT, have you tried turning it off and on again? That bullshit, I used to do it, and um, we're, going to, we're going to do that now. You are now an IT support contractor for Aerotech Corporation and use the computer to open your email app. There's even a printer. <laughs> this printer is shared between everyone at Aerotech. It is your job to keep it running. If it stops working, try turning it off and on again. <laughs> they actually said it. <laughs> no luck? Click the area above the printer and to, to try a precursive maintenance. In other words, Murat. <laughs> He actually can. You can clop it. <laughs> so very IT. It's true. It is true. Right. Let's go and we've got a computer here to fix. Okay. Let's let's check the company emails, shall we? Congratulations on your job with Aerotech Corporation. You are joining us at a very exciting time. It's always a very exciting time. I'm Ira T. Elster. <laughs> Yes, you are. And I started this company with nothing but a dream, a robust work ethics, and $13.6 million in seed capital from my father. Gee, I wonder where they got this from. Could it possibly be the IT crowd? <laughs> but just a few years later, we were changing the industry with bold, fresh approach that, that leading market analysts have called alarming. <laughs> I am proud of everything I've built here, and and I am and I'm so glad you've decided to join us on your journey Aerotech maybe Kez standing behind me with her anniversary present going over my ears I can hear it it's very loud it's actually deafening I am proud of everything I've built here and I, and I'm so glad you've decided to join us on our journey Aerotech may be a large company but I take a deep personal interest in the people that, that people we work with. And I can't wait to see you thrive in your new role. And don't forget to put the job here. Bit enough from me. I bet you can't wait to get started. The details of your position are included below. You will be paid for every ticket you complete dependent on other tasks. Shipping and travel. For most jobs, Eurotech will ship, ship the computer to your workshop. Where that is not possible, you may require to travel off-site. Please note that lunch will not be provided. <laughs> Assholes. Performance review. Staff will submit feedback on every ticket you complete, rating their satisfaction with your work. It is not stressful and it is exciting professional development opportunity. Okay. Shared resources. Due to previous incidents, Aerotech has has been forced to centralize the printing resources in a single secure location. And basic skill. Jesus Christ, this is like actually working at a proper company. Let's just go to the computer, shall we? Jesus. PC's fucking dirty, my god. <laughs> Look at that. Filthy. Absolutely filthy. Whoa. Speed removal here. This graphics card looks a bit busted, to be honest. Oh no, it's just... Pixelated. <laughs> That's pretty darn clean if you ask me. Okay. Uh, install. Let's put that case. Let's put that case back, shall we? I can change. I can change. Freaking full guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just need to check that they're working. And then we can send this back to the user. That's very funny. I am an employee, am I not? I'm doing what they ask. Just for fun. Okay, let's send this dude's PC back to him, shall we? Yay! 
Which app did you use to remove the dust? Dipshit. <laughs> You're a truck simulator. Ah, hey, look at that. I might just run it. Just needs a graphics card. <laughs> F1 2017. Feudal fantasy. <laughs> ah, some of these names are just ridiculous. Ah, good morning, sunshine. Wow, that is a, that is oh God. That's one of those server boxes. One of those mini mini PCs. Not worth the time. It was very popular back in the day, though. I must admit. I realize you just started here. I realized I realized I wasn't reading either. <laughs> but I created this company and I'm not about to sit and twiddle my thumbs while those saps in HR peddle their orientation and important safety notice nonsense. It could have been simple wear and tear and faulty component or it could have been a venti americana. So you spilled something on it basically. Been trying to find the docks for your onboarding, but my drive is so cluttered. Could you reinstall CleanNet Pro and give it a once over for me? I've got some forms to print off, but the printer isn't working. Maybe you can look into it, probably a paper jam. Or maybe it needs restarting. It still doesn't work after that. Just I usually just hit it. You might want to run a virus scan too. I accidentally, I accidentally, they, they like to accidentally visit websites. You should know users like to accidentally visit website that was not very safe for work. Let's first go fix that bloody printer. Yes, this is exactly how it works. The life of an IT guy. Bugger off, Jesus. Fucking tiny little porch and I have to reach for it. Oh, so carefully. Right, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? We're looking for a cleaner, cleaner, cleaner. Where's the dust clean it? There it is. Jesus, <laughs> 290 files infected. Nice. Yeah, I don't care. Done already, so. I love it. Everything just gets auto cabled. <laughs> oh well, no work needed for me. A Republic of Gamers no hal. Yes, sis. an antivirus just in case all righty his computer is done as you can see there is nothing here there's no workstation here there's no workstation here there's only one here because you're a very small company look there's an nes with what looks like the matrix on it <laughs> which is very funny but we're not going to talk about that we're going to fix someone's computer so we're going to go here you get emails you can see that the, the dude's uncle didn't do a very good job. Hey, thanks for taking over the PC shop for me. Sorry, it's not in a better state. Few things. The company is not doing very well. Isn't doing very well. There's no money in the bank account. The rent and energy bills come out monthly, so make sure you have enough money for them. I had a job on the go, which should help with the rent. See the email below. Remember to use your thermal paste when putting in the CPU. No shit, Sherlock. I almost always forget, and the PCs overheat. So. I think you're all set up. It's your company now, so run it however you see fit. How you see fit. I hope you do better than I did. Lots of love, Uncle Tim. Oh, I borrowed $15 for fuel. You know how it is. I do. You're an ass. <laughs> huh. 
Hi Tim, hope you can help me. My computer's been running slower than usual, and I think I might have collected I might have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? It's possible. You might just need to upgrade your PC. <laughs> You've only got two gigs of RAM as well. That might be the reason why your PC is running slowly. Because this stuff gets outdated fast. Right, let's have a look, shall we? The reason we have these little things in IT is so that we don't infect our own computers. It's generally the reason why we have these little things, the USBs. Just because we don't want to infect our own PCs, which makes sense. I mean, you don't really want to infect your own PC. Rather not, eh? Rather! Huh? Huh? Ah! Even Kez agrees. Virus scanner, start scanning. I think this is what we're going to do. I like this more. 448 files. Bloody hell, what sites are you even visiting? Listen, dude, there are there are, are legal sites which are much better than the clearly not so legal ones that you've been visiting. Mm -hmm. Okay, your PC's done, buddy. Yay! I got a hundred dollars! Of which fifteen had to be taken away. This dude, oh, hey, I read an article online about business principles that got me thinking. It's time I took Tim's red hot repairs back to its root. Top priority, I set up a website. The article said you're nobody if you're not on the web. Take a look when you got a minute. Tim's red hot repairs.com. Seriously, open up your browser and check it out. It's a real website. Took me hours to get it all working. As for the next steps, I got my eye on a few local properties. The money the money I need is tied up in, in that old workshop of yours. But I'm sure I can think of a quick fire way to get the cash. Anyway, just have a have a look at the website and let me know what you think. Keep you updated. Excited for the future. Uncle Tim! So that's about it for today. Um we're gonna look at doing this again soon. <sighs> just let me stretch. Oh, oh that's good. Mm, okay thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed watching me build computers and make huge cock-ups myself which is what i did as well uh but thank you so much for doing that thank you so much for for uh sitting down and watching and if you really liked the video hit that thumbs up button and tell us why if you didn't like the video hit that thumbs down button and tell us why uh you can obviously leave your comments down below guys remember to share the video because it seems to help with the algorithm i don't know why but apparently it does i mean the youtube changes that rule so often you can never really tell but anyway guys if you really 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 liked us please hit that subscribe button and as always remember bye